Um, Say hello, Toffee. Do you like my ears? Say hello. No, they like Toffee more than they like your ears. That's a girlfling. I'm a girlfling. That's wearing a Brad Pitt's shirt. Toffee. Toff. Toffee. This is a trailer with um, a couple of stars in it that I know Nat Maddie over the years has had crushes on. <laughs> in fact, two actors in this that Maddie's had crushes on. And I'm going to give you a few clues. Come One on. was the star of Django Unchained. Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Oh, all right, you know, all right. And the other one was the villain was in me, Black Dad. Panther. That was you. Oh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. <gasps> okay, fair yeah. enough. I did. The beaded one. Yeah, he is The beaded beautiful. one from Black yeah, Panther. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay. Mm. Sort of like Braille. This has not been one of my major crushes. So it's not been one of your major crushes, but if you had more. You could have said a beautiful man, and then I might have guessed my. But if you'd had nothing else to do on a Saturday night and he'd called up. Would you have gone out with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, wasn't, it wasn't a major crush. Like I think I Michael B. Jordan is very cool. Anyway, this is a film starring Jamie Foxx, Michael B. Jordan and Brie Larson. Love Jamie it's Fox. Uh, oh, Brie called Lars. Just Mercy. Brie Larson's been badly tarnished, I think, by Captain Marvel. Like, she is a good actress. I thought she was cracking in room. Yeah. Um, Name something else. Uh, it's a good point. I'm struggling. This is about Michael B. Jordan playing a young lawyer who heads down to Alabama and starts to, could, could have had a much sort of much more high-flying job, but decides to represent black people on death row in Alabama. Oh. Uh, so it's all about justice. It's about the racism. It's Alabama, it, like? Yeah, hardcore. Hardcore. Uh, and it's about the racism that he encounters as well as the fight that he, he has trying to get people off death row. Just mercy. Tell me everything that happened. <sighs> first time I visited death row, I wasn't expecting to meet somebody the same age as me. From a neighborhood just like ours. It's Could have been me, mama. But what you're doing is gonna make a lot of people upset. You always taught me to fight for the people who need the help most. Your life is still meaningful, and I'm gonna do everything possible to keep them from taking it. You don't know what you're into down here in Alabama when you're guilty from the moment you're born. God! Mr. McMillan. We done here! Mr. McMillan, please. I was just about to give up when I got a call from a Harvard lawyer looking to start a legal center for inmates on death row. I was in before he even offered me the job. You the lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for driving all the way out here. Most lawyers barely make time to call. I can't believe you talked to all my people and said you're going to fight for me. I did. That mean a lot. If you go digging in those wounds, you're gonna be making a lot of people very unhappy. It's race school. When people care about a thing that much, they'll do anything to get what they want. When I first learned about all this, it was like looking at a river full of drowning people and not having any way of helping them. You ain't quit, Miss? No, sir. Each of us is more than the worst thing that we've ever done. I know what it's like to be in the shadows. It's my dad. They do nothing wrong. It's never too late for justice. You're the only one kid enough to fight for me. If we can look at ourselves closely. We can change this world for the better. We all need grace. We all need mercy. I got my truth back. You gave that to me. And ain't nobody gonna take that from us. Oh my that God, looks amazing. that is very powerful. It looks incredibly powerful. Um, oh, it makes me so angry. I know, the iniquities, every time, I mean, I remember way back in the 80s when Mississippi Burning came out, and do you remember that yeah, film with Gene Hackman? And, yeah. you know, every time... Well, Roots was my first oh, real experience. Oh, really? I mean, every time you see it, it just makes you ashamed to be white and American. Thankfully, we're not American, but we're British. Well, we, we were did pretty just bad. as many bad yeah, things, yeah. Exactly. Come on. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure we, we were worse. We have for. a lot to answer for. Brie Larson... Yeah. She looks incredible. She looks pretty good. Yeah, she looks pretty yeah, good. She did, She's actually. got a perm. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is he's always... He's such a good actor. How good looking is he as well? Jamie I mean, Foxx or Michael B. Actor. Jordan? They're both gorgeous. B. Jordan. Gorgeous. So what do you think, Which one's more beautiful, girls? 
Um, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, Michael He's Jordan. also... Yeah, it's closer to my age. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that looks it looks important. It looks uh, again, it's redressing the whole imbalance in, yeah. in Hollywood at the moment. So I just think it's, it's gonna one of those be a real tearjerker. It's gonna be a tearjerker. Possibly a bit of a shoe in there for uh, Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx for Oscar Oscar times. I don't know. Ooh. Could be Warner Brothers' big attempt there. Thumbs up.